Hello and welcome. I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the Coach Studio bag. I've been looking at this bag for a while since it came out and I was really tempted to buy the chalk with the brass C on it when I was last in New York City and I was at Saks and I talked myself out of it. But with the recent sale that Coach had on their website, I opted to buy the studio bag, but I didn't get it in the chalk because they don't sell the chalk smooth leather on their actual website. I think it's just a special piece for, you know, maybe sacks um, only, not sure. Um, but that's the only place I've been able to find it. So, um, I opted to get it in one of the colors that were on their website because I wanted to take advantage of that um, of that sale. So it came wrapped. I didn't do the gift wrapping, and I know that there's a lot of people out there on YouTube that have been requesting the gift wrapping, and it does look beautiful when it comes to your home, and it does feel like a special gift for yourself. However, for me, I just feel like that's extra boxes, and then I feel bad if I you know, recycle it because it feels like such a waste, um, of, of really special kind of paper. So, um, I mean, I know recycling is recycling, but this just uh, seems just more practical for me and how, what I'm comfortable with as far as the environment goes. So it came with its sticker here. It's not super sticky. It's not really sticking to the paper. It sticks to my finger, but it looks pretty enough I actually really, this is fine, um, comes in the dust bag. Now, I actually opened this yesterday because I tried to film this twice yesterday on Mother's Day, and my beautiful, lovely children literally wouldn't leave me alone for, you know, a five-minute video. So anyway, um, it is looking a little messy in here, but it did come nicely wrapped in its dust bag, um, and it's, it is factory wrapped, and that was something... I've noticed too that when people have it gift wrapped and then they open it, all the factory wrapping is off, um, which would make sense that coach would do that. If it's going to be sent to someone as a gift, you don't want it sent possibly with all of the weird styrofoamy plastic stuff on it, which I get. Um, I, although I personally would prefer that it came that way because it just ensures that on its way to you, it, it stays clean or like unscratched or whatever. So, uh, you know, it's everyone's personal preference, I suppose. So um, I, as you can see, I opted to get the, I think it's called teal, although it's not really a teal, um, but I got the teal with the gunmetal hardware. I have to say, it really is, it's beautiful. The color is beautiful. It's almost like an ombre situation where it kind of gets darker and lighter in places. Um, no feet, which I always like feet. Um, I understand that, you know, on a bag this size, they may not think it's worth having feet, but I would take feet on every bag, to be honest with you. Uh, and then this one has the gunmetal. I don't have any bags with gunmetal, and I was listening to some reviews of bags with gunmetal hardware, and some people did say it can chip. So, you know, maybe that brass hardware would have been better because maybe there is a, a potential chance that this might um, rip, but I'm going to see. Um, I'm not very harsh on my bags either, so I'm, I'm, I, baby, I baby them. I mean, I use them, um, and, but I'm, I'm conscious of when I use them and where I put them. Um, so typically on a lot of the bags I've been getting lately that are the natural glove tanned leather, it has been saying it down here on the bottom of the bag, but they didn't do that on this style for whatever reason. Um, the back, you see here, you can really kind of see that ombre that I'm talking about. It's kind of darker on the edges and kind of becomes lighter into the center. Um, it has a pocket. It doesn't have a lot of give. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's pretty tight in there. To get my cell phone in and out might be a challenge. Um, I don't know if I would actually use that for my cell phone, especially because I have a pop socket on the phone and that would definitely get hooked on this. But like, it's it's even a challenge for me to stick my hand down in there. Um, so this strap, it is a full length adjustable strap. And as you can see from the sides here, it is not adjustable. I'm sorry, it is not removable like some of the other bags that they've been putting out lately. Um, 
But I think that the reason for that is if it was on one of those hooks, I think if it was on the hook, it would move funny. It would like kind of flip back and forth. And I think that that would, it would move like back and forth and then the bag might lean, um, which I don't think you would really want it to do. You want it to kind of lay flat against your body. Um, so let's pop it open. Um, and that's, this is a new kind of clasp for me. I've never really had that before. Um, microfiber blue inside, very pretty inside, very, very pretty color, very smooth. As you can see, I ha I, I tried to film yesterday, but I didn't, I, I didn't get this far. So it is still kind of packed as it was. Um, so here is where it says the genuine glove tanned leather on the inside of it versus at the bottom. Either way, I don't really care. Um, it doesn't really matter to me, but it is very soft leather. Uh, the bag itself is a bit stiff. Um, that might bother some people, people who like squishy bags. This is definitely not a squishy bag. Um, I know I should probably have some kind of tripod, but I don't make videos all that often, so I don't really need to invest in all that equipment. It's just basic here. This is, uh, I, I like to look at this as reality. Um, and, uh, you know, most of us don't have ring lights when we buy new bags. Uh, but because of the studio bag, I looked, I was watching YouTube videos on the studio bag. And most of the bags on, on, the, um, on YouTube and reviews, they've all been the, the patterned one, like the CC monogram. Or they've been the, um, oh, I saw one with the monogram and the hearts and the red outline. I actually looked at that one. I just thought that was really, really pretty. Um, but no one had done the, the, anything on the blue. Um, I do see some graining in the leather. Can you see that? Like here and here and here. Um, I don't know if that bothers me. I don't think it does because it's leather, right? And I mean, the animal that provided this bag to me uh, I mean, this could just be marks on that animal. It could be stretch marks um, in their in their hide, and um, and I think that gives it character, and I'm okay with that. It's not scratches. It's literally like veining in the leather, which is, is kind of unique. Um, and I would imagine that's going to make each piece unique. So inside the bag, um, it is it is stiff, um, but I think it will loosen up just like most leather bags do. And like all the others, if you've looked at other reviews, there are the three compartments. I most likely will not be using all three. Um, main, main compartment there. Um, this one is actually pretty easy to open. So maybe I'd slide my phone down into there, put all of my belongings here and, and in the back there, I mean, receipts or cards or whatever. Um, so let me just show you what I plan on putting in here. I'm pretty basic with what I, what I carry, um, especially if I don't have my children. So I picked this wallet up. This is coach as well. Like I'm just on a coach kick. Um, this is their dreamer wallet. And I have, I have to say this thing has been, um, a workhorse. I mean, it looks beautiful. It's very simple, very basic. Um, it's narrow but yet it has all the cards that I need in here, a spot for change, and I just fold my cash up anyway. So my plan is to have this, and you can see it is not big. It's it's almost like a, just a card carrier, but it is um, but it is a little thicker. Um, I recently picked this up, thinking it would look really nice with this bag, the hints of blue, but I love green. Um, and I actually bought my mother the one in blue for Mother's Day. And this is just my, this is like a little catch-all for these narrow bags for me. Uh, again, I don't need a lot. I have gum. I have my little Hermes change pouch. I have Tylenol, you know, headache medicine type of stuff. I have my uh, Louis Vuitton clay in here, which I know seems ridiculous. But in there I have like credit cards and store credit cards. I have my little immune booster because I've had a cold recently. Um, and that's it. And at the bottom I have a pen. And you know what? It just keeps all these little tiny tidbits of things together for me. And I have to say that the, the, it feels just, it's just really nice to touch. It's nice to hold. It's so smooth. And, um, and it, it's just nice to be able to find those little things and not have them get lost. So it would be those two things, um, ear, earbuds and, um, a hand cream. I would probably throw in my sanitizer, which I'll pop right there. I have these nice little ones from Bath and Body Works. And then I have this tiny little, it was a custom made um, 
piece with Louis Vuitton canvas. This has been, my gosh, I've had this for years and years, and I have to tell you, this is a staple. And if this ever breaks, I, I don't know what I will do with myself because look at the size of this. It's so tiny. But in there, I fit like literally a majority of all my makeup goods. Uh, because, you know, I, I teach. I'm in a school all day with, I do te teach teenagers. So, I mean, I try not to look too disheveled because, you know, they're judgmental and they'll, they'll tell you. Um, but in here, I have a little bronzer. I have a Bare Minerals lipstick. I have a Chanel lipstick. This is that Chanel Bomb. It's actually pretty amazing. Um, I have a lip liner that's broken and taped, but I love the color. Um, and so once it gets small enough to fit in here, I start putting it in here. I have a tiny little brush for my little tiny bronzer. I have a chapstick. Um, my sister-in-law is a naturopathic doctor and she makes some of her own skin products. I have a tiny knife, um, little, you know, just for whenever we need it. Tweezers, nail file. And I got these tiny, tiny cute little Tic Tacs because you never know. And my God, look at everything that fits in there. And it's easy to get in and out of. I'm in and out of that little thing all day. Um, chapsticks, especially. Uh, maybe the lip liner and the lipstick. Um, and it fits in every little bag. Even, like, I have a little Tory Burch, like, clutch that I use sometimes. It even fits in there. So all of this stuff is going to fit super nice in here. So I'll start with the that thing, whatever you want to call that. My Dreamer wallet. I'm actually going to stand the wallet up. And my little Louis Vuitton thing there in the corner. And then I'll just put my hand sanitizer, my cream, my earbuds, and it's done. It's ready to go. Um, and the final step here is the closing, closing because every review I've listened to, everyone like just goes on and on about how satisfying it is to close this bag. So I'm just going to give it a little push. Ooh, maybe not. Oh, hello. Hello. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, that's not a good sign. It's supposed to go click. Uh oh. All right. Well, I'm gonna mess around with this and see what's going on with that. Um, this may have to be exchanged because I want the clip. I want to hear it go click. <laughs> um, but other than that little thing that's happening right now, and maybe. I don't know, maybe it's locked because it does have that little lock. Maybe it's locked. Oh, no, it pushes in. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it a bit. Um, I will say, other than this little situation that I'm going to figure out, it is beautiful. The color is gorgeous. In all honesty, what you're seeing is, is pretty realistic. But I also think depending on where you are and what the light is like, it might even start to look a little, a little darker because of that ombre look. Um, it is beautiful. So hopefully I can figure out the clasp. And if not, I probably will exchange it and find one that does have a working clasp. Um, but if you were thinking about getting it in this color, I wouldn't hesitate. I think it's beautiful. It's going to go good with black. It's going to go good with white. It's going to go great with denim, um, greens, pinks. It's beautiful. Um, so happy shopping if you decide you want to go for a studio bag, especially because they've been on sale. And um, until next time, I will see you then. Thanks, guys. Bye.